get rid of these like bumps like you said that I have? Mm -hmm. Or is it just from a go away on its own? Probably not. The reason, this is from years of the joints being rubbed up against the shoe and it's formed almost like a scar. So we can scrape down or file down the callus, but usually if the skin has become scarred, it changes, becomes thicker and it'll keep reoccurring. Oh, okay. So very important that we're always buffing these down with an emery board on your own, just so it reduces the chance of it coming back. Okay, like that, that doesn't bother me that much, it's my toe really. But again, I think these are all signs that you have on both that you had more pressure on these toes and that's what's changed this toenail. So it's pretty cool that we did the virtual consult and now you're here. But I'm just gonna, again, explain to the camera that this toenail is really just a damaged toenail. Years of pressure, banging, trauma, stress has made the nail thicker. It's almost scarred the nail bed, so it's not allowing the nail to reconnect. And that's why it has, it's growing in almost layers. It'll grow forward, then kind of reaches the damaged part. It kind of separates, then the next new nail grows in. And that's why it's kind of growing in stages. Yeah, like it's almost like it's getting weaker, breaking, then starting again, then breaking. Yes, again. so what I expect to find is that only the back nail is attached, and this whole front part is completely lifted. So, so how much will I have left then? You're probably going to have maybe a third or half of the nail. Okay. But the reason why we're going to do that, there's really only two options. One is we kind of, again, trim the nail back, file it thin. You know, when the spa opens next door, the nail salon, then we can put that medical grade artificial nail on. And then nail reconstruction, it'll look like a nice full nail, nice and smooth. But for now, we're just going to trim it back conservatively. Or your only other option is to remove the toenail forever. No. <laughs> exactly. So that's why for today, we're just going to clean it up so at least it's not as thick. You can buff it down yourself until we can put that nail reconstruction on there. Okay. Okay. Like in the future, I could get it removed if I can't maintain it, but right now, I have, I have 21 and I care. No, I, so. I know. I know. So what we're going to do, I know you're really worried about pain. You just relax. Nothing should hurt because it's really just a normal nail. It's like we're cutting a normal nail. It's just a little thicker. It's just sometimes when we do cut it though, it's a little bit sensitive because I don't know if it's just because the nail clippers It, it, or it can be. So we'll go nice and slow. But see, I, I use the big guns. Yeah, like the nail clippers we have, or like the regular ones and the big toenail ones, they don't, they don't sound like that. <laughs> but my nails, they fly across the room. I know. It's that. like, we have to wear goggles. We're scared that we're going to get stabbed in the eye by accident. Oh, as a student, that, that happens. Oh, it does? Oh, yeah. But then you learn, you got to put the finger there so it doesn't fly off. But this nail's very thick. Yes. But that's what happens. So when we have too much pressure on skin, we get thick skin, callus. When we have too much pressure on nail, it's the same reaction. We get a thick nail. Like this would have been almost impossible for me to like do this on my own. There's no way. How many times did you see a, a, a doctor for this? Once. And, and they like, uh, they're like, oh, it's a fungus. And I'm like, uh, and then they gave me drops. And they told me that they were going to send me to someone to get shaved down so we could start the drops. And she never did. And then that's why I called the other doctor. And uh, he then he told me it's a fungus. And that's why I told you he got mad at me. And I'm like, okay, thanks. That makes me feel great. Why would they get mad at you? They told me, oh, I was irresponsible and everything. And I'm like, like relax. I'm not in pain. Like, this isn't you. You're not my parents. I don't even. I didn't know this doctor because my doctor was out of the office because of the virus. Mm -hmm. So someone else that didn't even know what I looked like or who I was, and he wasn't very nice. And it made me. He made me upset more than anything. But. And then how'd you find me online? Oh, I was trying to look up pictures of like fungus. I was like, I was crying, so I was so upset, and I was like trying to think of like. Like, is there another way where I don't have to get removed? Because the guy told me, like, there's no other option. You have to get removed. Both of them. And then I came across a picture of um, you removing, I think it was really bad toenail fungus. And then I clicked on it, and it brought me to your YouTube channel and the video. And I didn't realize I was going on a video. And I saw you, like, doing, like, doing this to someone else. But it's fungus, though. And then I tried to look at other videos to see if I could see anything like my toe. And I didn't. Not exactly the same. So that's why I decided to like go on your website and try to have a video conference with you. 
Like at first I thought you were from the States and I was like, oh, I'm not gonna, he won't be able to help me. And then all of a sudden I saw you're from Mississauga. So I was like, oh, I can have help. It's a miracle, <laughs> it's destiny. So like that's how I found you from my, I had a, like a little bit of a meltdown. And I found you, so. Were you happy after the consult? Yes, very happy. My toe looks so ugly. But we're gonna make it look much better. So the tricky part is always finding out how much of the nail is still attached. So that's why I'm in no rush. We're going nice and slow. And it looks like a lot of it is attached still. Really? Mm-hmm. Yay. I guess my, my toenail is kind of strong. It is very strong. <laughs> and so what will happen, I'm just basically gonna take off these ridges, buff it down so it's thinner and smoother. And then, Basically, like I said, when the nail salon's open, we can create a fuller, smoother, flatter nail appearance. And that would stay on for a much longer time because it is medical grade, it'll be safe, it doesn't affect anything. And would uh, I get that redone every like- Every few months, we'd yeah. file back the top as the new nail grows in and then re redo it. Yay, I'm, ex I'm so, so excited for that. I know, I know, it's, it's, we're waiting for the AOK to open that next door. I'm really excited for that. So, you okay? Yep. Nothing's hurt so far? No. So I'm doing it wrong. It feels funny, but like it's fine. Is that just like dirt and dry skin? Exactly. I think I saw the doctor thought it might have been fungus because you could see on the side the dirt. But yes. I'm like, that doesn't look like the other pictures of fungus that I saw on the internet. It no. doesn't look anything like You were right. So what happens, because the nail's thicker, and, but detached, it's building up the dead skin that gets shed. And because it has nowhere to go, it's trapped. That's what's building up all this debris. A lot of people would think it's fungus, but when we look, I can see the nail's really one uniform color. It's not spotty, it's not green, it's not yellow. Overall, it looks pretty good. Yay, okay. So. Well, it might be a little discolored in some spots because I was putting nail polish on it for so long to cover it up. Because I was like, I felt like no one else had toes like me. So even when it was still minimal, I was still just covering up with nail polish. So people wouldn't know it, so I just do dark nail polish. And I took it off in September for the first time, actually. My doctor told me to. And, or else I would still be wearing nail polish now. Oops, sorry. That's okay. And the battery is definitely going to die. I couldn't find my charger, unfortunately. So same thing, we're gonna go nice and slow. sounds terrifying. It's just a thick nail that wants to fly away. And that's why you need the strong clippers to to get this down. This one looks a lot more lifted than the other one. Yes, I think I think I mentioned in the video chat, I think the kids that were at daycare, mm -hmm. they might have ran that one over a little bit. That's why I was saying it looks, it seems more crooked. So I was like, I don't know if they ran it over with a bike or they stepped my foot too many times. And then it just, um, maybe cracked inside and then it just started to bend, I don't know, but. Yeah, there's just been a lot more damage. So yeah. you're not gonna have as much nail on this one versus that one. That's okay. But again, once it comes to the reconstruction of the nail, that's what's gonna make it look a lot more normal and people will not really even know the difference. Well, I already told my coworkers I'm getting this done and she's, she didn't even know I had this problem because I always had nail polish. You know, it's just like, oh, not black nail polish, but dark enough that people can see. Okay, so I'm just going to trim this one back. Ew. I know. And all this is just dead skin. I was going to say, I hope that's just dirt. <laughs> it is, it is. I can't believe, like, if I didn't find you and I got my toenails removed, I don't know, like, and they go back again, I don't know, like, would I be allowed to sue the other doctor for giving me false uh, diagnosis? It, it'd be really tough, but the truth is, yeah, if we just remove them surgically, it will go back the exact same way. So you have to remove them forever. Yeah, like, there's, I'm not doing that right now. Not, not at this age, I don't want to do that. Oh, you're right, I have, like, I'm missing so much toenail. <laughs> you are. Like, what is this? Yeah, that, that indentation, it might come up a little bit since there's no more toenail pressing, but it might always be a little bit indented. Okay. But we can see the difference on how those nails look after everything's been cleaned up. 
How do they look to you? Much better and healthier, believe it or not. So this one, only half of the nail was actually attached. The rest was completely lifted, like exactly like I told you. This is a good example where the nail reconstruction is going to be really nice to create the look of a full nail. But it'll be safe, it'll be nice and smooth. And as the new nail grows in, that's going to be ridgy all over. We just keep coming in, buffing it down, smoothing it out, and reapplying that. And this is our conservative treatment. Okay. So you should be much happier now with these nails. I am. Less maintenance. You're still going to have them. And again, in a month or so when we come back to do the nail reconstruction, oh, it's going to be a good, nice little after video. I'm excited. I'm very excited. And no pain. No pain? Awesome. Very happy.